John, what I wanted to do is, we haven't talked in a while, uh, I wanted to get an overview of what you were doing with your Mustang replica program, as well as one of my old favorites from way back when, and many an adventure, and a couple of things we will not talk about. The old, uh, you know, the uh, Tornado series and all. Tell me, uh, tell me what's happening. Well, uh, we're we're still manufacturing the uh, the Tornado, and and uh, of course the primary push right now is with the Mustang. Although the Tornado, I'm seeing some increase in, in interest there. The problem with the Tornado is there's so many on the used market that it's difficult to compete with that. But that fleet is aging, so I think we're selling a few Tornadoes here and there, and of course we're still selling the Tornadoes as a UAV to the military. To, that's a kind of a neat program. How many of them are in circulation? Oh, there's uh, like 800. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's the latest on the Mustang program? Well, I guess one of the things that I've just done recently is I made a fiberglass cowl for it that actually blends better. Mm -hmm. It's going to save a little bit of weight up front. And, of course, with the heavier engines up, up front, we need to save as much weight as we can. It actually, it, I think, has improved the looks a little bit. We have a little bit of a shoulder here that the original Mustang doesn't have on where the spinner blends into the cowl. And I got rid of that with the fiberglass cowl. Well, there are two variants on your Mustang kit, correct? Uh, well, we do have a light sport version, but it's really the same kit. It's just a matter of engine choice there. Yeah. And what are the gamut and engine choices? Oh, geez, we go from the 100 horsepower Rotex 912S to the BMW V12. The redundancy in the V12 is awesome because it's two six-cylinder engines kind of married together with the crankshaft. And you have a separate computer for each side, separate intake. And in fact, I, I use a twin-engine manifold pressure gauge. So you have right and left uh, manifold pressure. And you can shut one side down and fly on the other. From a redundancy standpoint, it's awesome. And then the sound is awesome, too. Excellent. The V8 is also a real good choice. So there's several good engines there. These days, what's it take to go from start to finish kit-wise on one of these? Well, the kit's 65.9. By the time you get to your engine and propeller, you're probably a little over 100. And avionics, maybe you're, you're pushing 120. Okay. And build times? Uh, 1,600 hours on the Mustang is what we call it. And some people would build it in less than that, but most are probably building it more than that. So. What's the future for this program? Are you going beyond the Mustang? Yeah, I've got several other things in the works. I, I guess I've got uh, some things that are going to be a, a takeoff from the from the tornado. Okay. And uh, no I, twin I Mustang in the works? That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we we've thought about that, and it would be relatively easy to do a twin Mustang. So you'd have you'd really have a, a four place airplane, and uh, uh, yeah, it would be relatively easy for us to do that. We, we've thought about it. Uh, uh, Really did some, you know, preliminary sketching and so forth, but that's, you know, that's about as far as that's gone. Not sure it's going to be a very big market. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a, it wouldn't be a huge market. But, you know. John, thanks so much for your time. We look forward to seeing what you come up with next. And one of these days, i got to get together with you on this and go flying. Okay, we'll do that, Jim. You can you, come up anytime. You betcha. All right, take care. Bye. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com.